and they call it a bedside journal for women. Meet the local team behind this racy new magazine. It's kind of fun to read through it and be like, okay, is this turning me on? Is this turning you on? You're watching an hour-long edition of 12 News at 10. Casey Reed with a growing audience. See a new magazine made in Milwaukee just for women. Well, Victoria is not the only one who wants to get out her secret this Valentine's Day. So do a couple of Milwaukee women who've created a bedside journal. It's an eclectic mix of erotica and recipes. The authors hope it will make couples want to cuddle. New at 10, 12 News' Portia Young takes you inside the new magazine, Blam Blam, for all the steamy details. She placed his hand against her lips and kissed it lightly then returned it to the crevice between her soft boobs. They say women want it. They say women need it. The howling wind grew more violent and forced her to come to full awareness. Now women have it, an erotic bedside journal fluent in fantasy that grew from Jenna Laskella's and Michelle Cypher's own desire to feel sensual and sexy. Some local bookstore owners thought they were perverted. That they got our smut package, and uh, <laughs> they think that we need therapy because we're sick. And <laughs> but the Milwaukee women pressed on until Blam Blam hit the press. A quarterly magazine created in an unassuming house in Bayview. It has everything from sexy stories to spicy recipes. Jenna thought of the title listening to David Bowie. And there's a part there where he's like, she's a total blam blam. And it's like, blam blam. Like, yeah, I like that. To her, blam blam <laughs> means fun, hot, and unexpected. Exactly what they hope the pages reveal to an audience of women they feel has been ignored. We see on Oprah or like different shows these women that have to take hormones and everything to get excited and it's like there's other ways to do this you know men get projections of half-naked women on every billboard on every ad you know all the time of course they're turned on all the time it's no secret that men are visual but words turn women on Michelle Cyphers writes those words slowly the caress moved to her ear then her neck and her eyes her heart beat steadily against his palm. She heard him make a slight moan and felt his weight shift. The warmth of his breath on her neck sent shivers down her entire being. Michelle uses her internal gauge to rate the steamy factor. She's been writing and winning awards since she was 10. Her progression to erotica was simple. It's in the family. Cypher's stepfather works for Playboy in Chicago. He encourages and supports her venture. Blam Blam is found in about five different shops across Milwaukee, including Broad Vocabulary here in Bayview. But it's also nationwide, found in Atlanta, Minneapolis, and San Francisco. It took $15,000 of their own money to get Blam Blam circulating. It also took Milwaukee friends and ex-boyfriends who became models, contributing writers and purveyors. Hold, 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 hold up. Check it out. The first issue we sold out of, totally. The second issue, we have just a couple copies left. Blam Blam has yet to turn a profit, but they don't care. Cyphers and La Scala believe in their mission and the message. <laughs> no, it's okay that I'm turned on. It's okay that I can revel in fantasies and feel good about my body and feel good about sex and you know be open to that and if we're the harder ones to you know to get to that level of arousal then why aren't there more things targeted towards that they argue it's okay for women to stroke their libidos jenna points to cultural icons like desperate housewives and so sex in the city to, to prove they're not alone too. i'm a trisexual i'll try anything once because sex talk can make people uncomfortable michelle and jenna soften blam blam with food funnies and advice Blam Blam is a sexual world, small enough to fit in your purse, yet big enough to perhaps take you to the next level. In Bayview, Portia Young, WISN 12 News. 
I'm blushing. Blam Blam sells for $10. It's only in a few alternative bookstores and specialty shops. The creators are working to get it more mainstream. Right now, there are two editions. The third installment hits stores next week. Did you see all the copies that Portia came back <laughs> yeah, with? She's got an old desk full. <laughs> I suppose if Playboy can do it, Blam Blam yeah, can do it, right?